Hello Crafty Budgeters! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel, we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. You already know what it is. It's Cash Stuffing Sunday. First of all, you do not know how happy it is for me to be saying that, to be doing this video, your girl has been MIA, has been MIA and listen, I, I, there, this video has a lot of story time in it. I'm exchanging my new envelopes to from the old ones and we just have a lot to talk about. So if you like story time, this is the video for you because I have lots to talk about. If you don't, I mean, it is what it is, <laughs> but on this video, we are working to get my family out of our $175,000 worth of debt that we started with in 2020 and doing damage on that debt. And so, yeah, we are just gonna get started. Today, we are stuffing $943 and yeah, are you ready? I know, you're like, is she alive? What's going on? Yes, 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 yes. And let me just preface that this video is going to be really real. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Um, you know how I get sometimes when I talk and talk about my feelings and what's going on with life and X, Y, and Z. And so you might see a little bit or hear a little bit of emotions coming out in this video, but I'm just so, so, so grateful that I can kind of share the real of what it means to be doing all of the things, being a mom, being a wife, budgeting, um, dealing with just different things that are going on, being burnt out. And the reason why I am sharing this with you is because I want my channel to really show you what it's like to really budget and not only just budget but just like go through life budgeting and I've had a lot of time to just reflect sit back and take a minute to just figure out like what I am doing where I am at in my in this point of my life and I know I've let many videos go and a lot of updates go um, over the past couple of weeks and it's just it needed to happen when I tell you it needed to happen it was it, it was definitely necessary for me to get to this point. So let me, I don't even know where to start y'all. I really don't know where to start. But the first thing I think we'll do is let's stuff our envelopes for our wallet and then we'll get into some of the nitty gritty of like what's been going on. Like where have I been? What have I been doing? Ah! All right, so, okay, so to be truthfully honest with you, the past couple of weeks, I just haven't really been budgeting, to be honest. I mean, I'm paying all the bills and doing all of that stuff, but when it comes to like sitting down, cash stuff, tracking expenses, all of that jazz, it didn't happen. It totally di didn't happen. And I'm laughing in my head thinking, I just watched my girl Money with Gab, Gab from Money with Gab, and she was talking about how like her budget for March was kind of like thrown out the window and just wanting to start fresh. And that's where I'm at as well. And the point, the first point I want to give you is that when you are on your budgeting journey, debt free journey, like being in control of your money, listen, some months you are on it. Some months you are on it. You're, you're doing your budget. You're, everything's kind of working out. And then there are moments in budgeting world or in your year where it just was like you need a pause button and it, it, it's it's kind of frustrating when you're in the moment it's like I know I should be doing this I know I should be like doing the budget and and, and sticking with it blah 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 but there's another moment where it's just like I am just trying to get through the day and that means that if budgeting just had to go by the wayside and I'm not saying like I went totally over budget and like had to dip into different things it, but you will hear like some of it I did um and it just it just happens and it happens to the best of us and so um I think the first tip that I want to give you that like I normally have all my stuff together when it comes to the budget but March was just one of those months that I just could not do it like I, my brain could not get me to like sit down and budget and like worry about like sticking to the budget it just was not at the top of my list and that means the most of the like the last two weeks maybe three weeks of the month like I had no money left over I had to dip into the bu buffer because like I was just going over for things and it just yeah 
and and now looking back it's a moment of reset right it's a moment of like okay Brittany get your stuff together you had your moment but like let's bring it on in let's bring it on in all right so let's stuff our envelopes so for groceries it's getting $125 and um the next one is eating out eating out is getting $50 so it's getting the 50. Oh, I know why. Okay, yep, eating out's getting 50. Personal, no, gas, I'm sorry, gas is getting $100. And then, which gas is going down a little bit. I got gas for $3.99 at BJ's. What, what, what? It was like 400 and 400, God, goodness gracious. $4 and I don't know, it was getting close to $4.50 here. I know, depending on where you live, it's probably a lot more. But, y'all, I'm really happy that gas is going down a little bit. Personal is getting $15. And miscellaneous is getting $15 as well. So, our wallet is stuffed. Ah, which is exciting. Really, really exciting. So, it's going to get... $15 right here. Doo -doo. Okay, so our wallet is stuff, which is exciting. Ah! All right, so we're really going to be starting to take control of budgeting back with my envelopes and everything. Um, but before we move on to the next thing, I just kind of want to talk through just something that's really real. Like, um, when it comes, I think what happened, to be honest with you, and I'm, I'm with reflection and everything, like I think what got me to this point of just like needing to take a pause is that last year was literally on a fast track when it came to starting a YouTube channel, budgeting, paying off debt. It, it, the channel like blew up faster than I thought it was going to blow up. And I was making sure I had a video out every Saturday and Sunday. I also worked with my girl and did our, created a whole workbook, a whole planner within like two months. And I think what happened is when the new year came, I was still on that high of like, oh my gosh, it was an amazing year. I did so many things. I like really just stepped out of my comfort zone and like followed God and just shared my story. And it's been a blessing. But then the like, lull happened where it was like everything kind of leveled itself out and I literally was could I was like so burned out I was it, it, you have to realize like doing YouTube when, when you see these videos there's so many things behind the scenes that go on with creating the budget going to the bank doing the videos editing supporting other budgeters watching their videos doing challenges doing all of the things and that's all fine and good when you're like go 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 but the moment that you like sit, sit down and stop that's when it all like kind of just levels itself out and I literally couldn't do it I haven't watched any YouTube videos in over a month which is just crazy to think about now and I keep I've said it in some of my other videos like I'm still supporting all of my budgeting community and cheering for you but like when I would go on to look at the app or like go onto YouTube app and like watch videos my brain like could not get my fingers to push anyone's videos and it's not saying like I wasn't trying to watch them it was like I was at a blockade like something just needed to step away and I needed to step away fully from just everything that had to do with budgeting everything that had to do with YouTube everything that had to do with being a content creator because if I didn't I don't know if I could have come back. I needed this time a way to really like get my life in order and just to watch something else. Y'all, I have been binge watching Bridgerton. I have been binge watching, um, or not really binge watching, but like sticking up, sticking to my Monday show of All American Homecoming. I just got on the Downton Abbey train and like now I'm like a full force ahead on that as well. And it's been awesome to just think about something else other than YouTube, other than budgeting. And that literally has gotten me to this point where I can like come back and feel refreshed and renewed. Now, I can't say it was all me. I cannot say it was all me that got me to this point. 
it is also just the love and support of this community. And when I tell you this community is just above and beyond what I could have ever imagined signing on to YouTube could be. I have gained so many friends, so many supporters that literally care about my well-being outside of just creating these videos and like sharing my story, like really care about me as a person. And so I got to do a couple of shout outs, got to do a couple of shout outs. So um, thank you all for those have have been like checking up on me, making sure everything is all right. And um, I wanted to just shout out a couple of you that like have reached out to me personally. Heather, my girl Heather, you already know you are just a blessing to my life. So I want to shout you out. Um, I want to shout out Yesenia, a life of one's own. My girl Zoe that ha always just checks up on me and supports me. Um, CNL, Telly, Sharla, um, Cafe with Anna, my girl Gina Ray from Gina Ray RN Budgets. Like Gina is going through her own stuff. Like if you don't know, like definitely go and support Gina. Like Gina has her own things that are going on. My ex my blessings envelopes is going to Gina because her family is just going through a lot right now. But like she took time out of her busy schedule in life to check up on me, making sure that I was all right. And I cannot thank y'all enough for just taking time out to just send me a message, making sure everything's all right and being like, I didn't see a video, everything all right. Um, but I also just have to say a special, special shout out to my other three girls who have been with me for, since day one. The first one is um, Rochelle Adamson Budgets. Like Rochelle is what I call my mentor, just the OG of this YouTube budgeting community. And Rochelle, I reached out to her because I'm like, I don't, I need help. Like I'm at a standstill and I just need to know like, is this normal? Rochelle has been on YouTube for a long time. She has changed up her channel and made her channel what she wants to do it to be and she just gave me really good advice of like taking a moment resetting making sure my channel is what I want it to be and what I see it being in the future and I just am so grateful for Ro Rochelle for just always being that person that I can go to um the other person is Gab from Money with Gab you know, the reason why I started my channel was from three ladies, Rochelle, Money with Gab, and Naturally Lizzie. And Money with Gab reached out to me, Gab, and just checked in on me and make it, and just said that she was praying for me and all of that other jazz. And so I just want to say a special thank you to her, to you for, for just sticking with your girl and making sure I'm all right. Um, and last but not least, I know this is a lot of like story time and just shout out, but it has to be done. It has to be done. Um, last but not least, I need to shout out my girl, Taylor from Taylor Budgets. When I tell you that God placed her in my life for a reason, I am not joking. Not only did we become quick friends on YouTube and Instagram, we became business partners, we became sisters in Christ, but just sisters no matter what. And she has been checking up on me and like really just taking the reins with the side of the business while I just needed a moment. Um, but also just like, we FaceTimed this week and it was just awesome just to talk with her and just just to just to be vulnerable and just share my thoughts and feelings and for her to just be like you got it like you needed this moment but like here we go like what are, what are we doing to move forward and I just want to say thank you thank you thank you Taylor for just being an awesome friend and an awesome sister and y'all all of these ladies and all of these people that I shouted out and more I know many of you um were thinking of me as well through through this like moment of where is she at I, I am truly grateful for your love, support, and now I just real, feel really refreshed and renewed to like get back into it. So I needed to do that um, because I could not go on without just sharing how grateful and blessed I am to, to be a part of this community and having people just check up on me, right? Checking up on me with everything. Um, all right, so some more story time to come about like some of the like big things that have been going on that have just caused me to take some pause as well. But the first thing that we're going to do is also look at our savings challenge envelope. So y'all, the savings challenges for March has just been like abysmal. Not much has been happening, but I will be doing a video tomorrow doing our quarter one update for our savings challenges. So that is really exciting. Um, seeing how we've done January, February, and March. Uh, I don't have any rollover money, but I found this change in my wallet from probably the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to add it in here. 
and we'll count all of our change. Um, I don't have any for the zero out challenge again because we've been going over budget and I don't have any money left over for the past couple of weeks. So it is what it is. We'll start fresh coming up. Um, same with the $1 challenge. I don't have any rollover. If you're wondering, most uh, all of these savings challenges are just with rollover money um, from each week. Um, I have been keeping up with my health is wealth challenge. Y'all, this was... I'm doing this for Lent and I didn't realize how important it was for me to do this, especially in the season of my life where I just need, was going through some things. Um, I really needed to create this, uh, what's it called, like exercise routine. And when I was feeling like overwhelmed, stressed and losing patience, I would just like go for a walk, do a happy, uh, do a like workout dance and it was awesome. So I have been keeping up with that. I'm still only doing water and that has just been a blessing to me. So this is, the, I have been keeping up with this. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So $30, it, I'll put that for, for March. Um, and then the weather challenge, we do have the weather challenge for April. So at the end, at the beginning of the month, the first of the month, I put in the amount. And so it was 40, 54 degrees on April 1st. And so I will be stuffing $54. For here so one two three four so 54 for the weather challenge and I'm actually gonna take out the 250s and give a hundred they didn't have enough 50 so they had to give me an extra hundred so I want to make sure I have my right amount for my denominations okay so we will count all of this hold on all of this and this money oh, tomorrow. So make sure you watch that video because it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Now we're going to do our 100 envelope challenge, which y'all, you know, the goal was to uh, save $10,000 by within six months. Yeah, that's not happening. If I can get to $5,000 by the end, by what is it, June? I will be happy. Um, as I'm, Let me get the numbers out. So we're, all right, so we're stuffing 76, 77, and 17 today. So five, six, seven, 75. So 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. All right, and then 17. So 10, 15, 16, 17, over here, 17. And shout out to my girl Marisol. Marisol sent me a nice package with just some things from my house as well as a new um, savings challenge box. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I did get it. So this is my Peloton box with all of the envelopes in them. So put them in there. And then I know someone said they want to see me color them in. So 77, 76, and 17. All right, y'all. Look at that. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, this. And I actually don't think I had one for debt. So the debt one's going to stay the same. I might have to get a new one, but that's okay. Yep, I forgot my debt one. Okay, so these beautiful envelopes are from the Science of Budgeting. Oh, thank you, Maya, for creating them for me. Look, do you see that upgrade? Look at that. Look at that. I'm still keeping with the same kind of aesthetic, but, and I might actually change this binder out, but for right now, it's gonna have to stay that way because I don't have anything else. So, um, debt is getting $400, so it should be 400. And then we will do, which, you know what? I think I'm gonna take the debt one out. And then 
just have this as my sinking funds. Okay, so let's switch out all of the envelopes that are getting things. Some of them are the same, some of them are different. So um, bear with you, girl. And I have another one more story time that was like the main reason why I couldn't do a video last week. And so I will add that into this section as well. Okay, so the Crafty Budgeter is getting a dollar. So what I'm gonna do is take this out and move it to the side. So now the Crafty Budgeter has five, 10, 11, 12, 13. <gasps> Y'all, do you see this? <sighs> Here we go. They're so like crisp. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay. So the Crafty Budgeter is getting a dollar. The blessings, all right, so blessings, let's see, is right here. So this envelope, the money is actually not going to be in here anymore because it's going to go to Gina. So right now it's 20, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. I'm going to take, um, let's see, let me just see. All right, so what I'm going to do, because I really wanna be a blessing, I'm actually going to take my personal money and then add that towards this blessings. And now, let's see what we have. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. So Gina, we are thinking of you, we are praying for you and your family. Hopefully, I know this is just a small amount, but hopefully y'all can treat yourself to dinner or or something. Anything that you want to do with that money, you got it. You got it. And we are continuing just to keep you in our thoughts and prayers. All right. Beauty is getting a dollar, which y'all, you're going to be excited about this. Guess who's getting her, her nails done today? Your girl, your girl's getting it done. I also made an appointment to get my hair done on in two weeks. Now it's not gonna be the actual cut yet because it's a new stylist. So she's actually going to like see my hair texture, what we're working on, and she's just gonna like do a deep condition, all that stuff. And then we'll make a plan for my cut. Ah, I'm so excited. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All of that money was different ways, but it's fine because it's about to just go somewhere anyway. So we are moving on to car. Do I have a car one? I Yes. Okay. So car is getting a dollar. The rest of them are just going to get a dollar. So car now has one, two, three, four, five, five dollars for car. And I just like that it was like a different style of envelope. She did a good job. Okay, this is gonna keep bothering me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put them in to here as we go along. Blessings, beauty, car. There we go. All right. So then the next one is clothes, which I don't think I did one for clothes. No, because I, I realized I wasn't really doing much with it. So I'm actually going to put clothes in the beauty one for more for my nails, which is exciting. So now beauty has 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. All right, so $40 in beauty. Christmas is getting a dollar. I do have one for Christmas. I think, yes. <laughs> All right, so Christmas now has five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 37 for Christmas. I think I saw somewhere that there's like only, you know how they have those like 
nine more Fridays till Christmas. I was like, mm, it's probably not nine. It's definitely probably more than that, but. <laughs> All right, so Family Fun is getting a dollar. So now it has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So $14 for Family Fun. All right, let's see, do I have a home one? Yes, a home is getting to a dollar. So home has one, two, three, four, five. All right. Gifts is getting a dollar. It's my mom's birthday on the 8th. So I gotta beef this one up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dollars for gifts. All right, so utilities is getting a dollar, I believe. Let me see. So now utilities has Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Medical is getting a dollar. So this is where the last story time comes in. So, so I was all ready to do a video last weekend, but guess who broke their foot at work? Mr. Crafty Budgeter. And it just, I didn't have to go, I didn't have time to, what was this one going towards? medical. I didn't have time to like get all my stuff together and then I've been doing all of the things that, for the past week and making sure he can't drive for a little bit because he's on the medication and it just has been a lot. So like when I tell you it's just been a lot like life has been lifing on top of me just feeling burnt out then that happened and y'all well, I'm so grateful because it could be it could have been a lot worse and um, so right now he has a boot and then we had to take him to the doctor on Monday which is tomorrow to get it checked out so send positive vibes and prayers to Mr. Crafty Budgeter but just thankful because like I said it could have been worse um and yeah 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 so Trey is getting 10 20 25 30 so it's getting $30, well it has $30 with the dollar. And then, uh, it's gonna like, not close anymore. Let's see, train, oh I have a couple other ones. Okay, so tr I traded transportation for train because that's what I've been using it for. Um, for my, my ticket on the train. So it's $6. So that's there. I'll put it in there. And then travel is getting a dollar. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. $17 for travel. And then I decided to take out the yearly subscriptions one because I really don't use it all like that. And so what I'm going to do with the remaining money, which this should be $3 because there were three envelopes that I, or yeah, three envelopes that I didn't use and but I just gave myself the normal amount. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I decided I'm going to give utilities ten dollars because all of it pretty much is like utilities um some of like the subscriptions yeah i don't i can't think of any that i i did have my blog subscription but i don't have that i do have an amazon one but like i'll just take that away from like utilities or something or just add it as like an expense so it's not like i'm really saving for it so five ten fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so $20 is gonna go to utilities. And then, let's see, beauty, just so I have enough for my nails and then whatever leftover will be for my hair, it's gonna get the remaining amount. So, which that's a lot of dollar bills. Okay, so 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change out, let me see, do I have a $10 bill? Let's see. Let's see if I can change out a 10 I'm going to take my jar and then for the ones, let me see if I can find a $10 bill. Or even if it's two fives, I'll just do two fives. Okay, so here's two fives. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, do two fives here for 10. And then actually I'm gonna do another two fives. If I can find another one. Or maybe I'll do 20. How about I just give myself a $20 bill? That makes a little bit more sense, right? All right, so. One, did I put that money back? I hope I did. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty. Okay, so this should be twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. I don't know if I did that right, but it's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so. $20 is going back into here, which y'all, I'm so excited to count all of this. And then we are going to put this in beauty, which is actually just going to go in my wallet, but that's totally fine. And y'all, isn't that cute? Ooh, we did it. We did it. Okay. So friends, family, besties, we did it. I have missed all of you. It has been a minute, but I'm really excited. I also have some really cool ideas for stuff that I want to just offer y'all. Um, and it's in the, the planning stage right now. More to come on that. But I am truly grateful for all of your love and support. Um, thank you for just sticking with me and rocking with your girl. We about to make this happen. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And Rilla, and know that like, it's okay to take a reset. It's okay to take a pause. And you just figure out and remember your why of why you got started. And it'll always bring you back. So have a great rest of your week. If, oh my gosh, I forgot to do my beginning. If you're not a part of the Crafty Budgeter fam, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your week. See ya. Bye-bye.